So, um, ladies and gentlemen, as when I was previously speaking to you, remember I talked about I kind of made a point of y was equal to zero when the graph crosses the when the graph crosses the x-axis, right? Yes. So, in these questions, what we are trying to identify is what exactly is the what are the values? We so we know the y values when the graph crosses the x-axis. We know the y values equal to zero, but what are the x values? So. For the rest of this chapter, when I'm asking you for what are the solutions, what are the x values, the first thing you know you're going to do is write down what you know, is that y is equal to 0. So a lot of you had your test, you wrote, you put in, not, I mean, you had blanks. You had like, you know, nothing else to you know, put in there. Well, everybody should say, oh, you're looking for the x-intercepts, you're solving, then yeah, we want to put y equals 0. Does that make sense? OK, now we need to solve this. Now, there's, a, there's an important thing, because there's, there's different ways for us to solve these problems. And the first thing that I notice about this is there is only one term that, is x, that is, has an x. You guys agree with me? Mm -hmm. There's only one term that has an x. So when there's one term that has an x, we're going to use what we call the square root method. And this is, again, what I went over last class period and two times before that. We're doing the square root method. So what the square root method tells us is basically to solve this like a regular equation. Forget that it is x squared for a second and just solve it like you would solve any other equation. So just like you would do this, how would you solve this? You would get the x by itself, right? Oh. Well, that's for, for Huh? Yeah. We'll move you guys back here next time. OK. Jake, you're killing me. So now, let's go ahead and solve this one. We're going to do the exact same thing. However, we're going to come to a point where we can't solve it, or we're going to have an issue here. So now, if you guys remember, so to get to this point for a linear equation is OK. We know what the value of x is. But now we have 16 equals x squared. We haven't solved for x yet. All right. So now we need to set, determine how do we undo the squaring function. And for those of you that have been watching in this class for over and over again, to undo the squaring function, we do what? Square root. Square root. Now remember, when we introduce the square root, we have to make sure we include, anybody else remember this? The positive and the negative. OK? Because does 4 times 4 give you 16? Yes. yes. Does negative 4 times negative 4 equal 16? No. Yes. yes. So whenever you're introducing the square root, you have to include plus or minus. Remember, guys, the square root says what number multiplied by itself gives us 16 or gives us that number. OK?